What is up guys, it's Sobash. Welcome back to Mobile Legends and today we are going to buy another legend. Uh, today's legend is, let's see, we are going to get Wei. Now Wei is pretty good as far as physical attack, got a good out and his ultimate traps people in. He's going to be really hard to kill and let's test him out. Alright, so we're going to take a look at Wei. Wei has four abilities just like everybody else. Vorpal Blades deals damage and shoots a blast of energy in a line. The next normal attack deals extra damage to targets hit by energy swords. Kirin Teleport warps forward, increases your movement speed. That's what's really hard to catch up with. Increases your attack. Uh, it's Kirin Blessing. Your attacks now cause splash damage and decreases your opponent's movement speed. I didn't know that. It's a passive and Kirin's sword array that is the ultimate conjures a field of swords which deals continuous damage to surrounding enemies and it does contain them inside of this shield they're not able to go outside of it unless they teleport out of it so let's get in the game and take a look at way all right so this is going to be not my first but i played way in maybe one or two matches uh let's see that's the teleport Vorpal Blades, we're going to go with that first because that's going to do damage to pretty much everybody. Like I said, if they're in a line before, it's going to do damage to all of them. But being AI hard, like we always do when we first buy a legend, we try it out here first with the uh, recommended build. So let's go ahead and grab the teleport. That way we have another out. I do have teleport on anyway. And let's see, let's get close. All right, there's two up top. They shrunk me already. That was a bit of a waste of a perk to me. And they both used perks on me. The first one being that shrink and the second one was the uh, Infernal Flame. I believe that's the name of it. So that ability does pretty decent amount of damage and it hits everything in its path. Everybody's up top for some reason. So we're going to drop bottom. Okay, so Wei's uh, recommended build. First item is Abyss Helm. Now, I know what that is right off the bat. That's a lot of attack, 20 attack, some defense, and life steal. So let's go ahead and pick that up. And it's doing 16 life steal right now. And let's go ahead and get out. See, I didn't have to use my uh, perk teleport because I already have it up. And let's go ahead and grab this. And we got Duke on the bottom. So let's go ahead and see what kind of damage we can do. We got, looks like, moderate amount of damage to begin with. I mean, he's able to stand in and do pretty decent amounts. We have Duke on the run now, and we're out. There we go. Now we have an ultimate. Now, unless you have teleport, there's no way to get out of this ultimate. Let's see how he does against uh, minions. All right, this is a low life one right here. It gives about 89 gold, yeah. And this is a larger one. It's gonna take, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits just off of that. Now that's just regular attacks that wasn't anything special we're gonna get duke called up he can't get out he has no teleport get him get him get him all right we flashed in let's go ahead and take owen out second on the list is movement speed and we're gonna have to go back now since everybody's at top lane we're gonna go ahead and go back bottom push see if we can't get a tower kill we're only level four so well somebody's actually been down here killing yes it is duke um, next one, let's level up the Vorpal Blades because it goes out a pretty good ways as well. Uh, I'm not used to playing melee, as you can tell. I played a lot of uh, range characters, so I'm not quite used to uh, what he's wanting to do. And we're going to try and chase him down. Nice. And let's go back. These minions are on the tower, so we need to take these minions out and see if we can't get a good push on this tower here. All right, Vorpal Blades is at level three now. Hopefully this should do a pretty good amount of damage to everything right here. Half health, one shot after that. Nice. Spindle Cutter being the third item on the recommended build. Really nice, it's good for uh, extra crits. Level it up, I think it's right now it's at 1.75 times crit the damage. Once you level it up, it goes to uh, two and then 2.5. So you can get a good amount of damage. I'm going to stay in and get this tower. And we're going to double teleport. Get out away from him as quick as we can. Should have a heal. We do. It's probably not going to do much for me. It didn't even give me half health almost. But we're going to go right back in and take out this stuff. And then we're going to shift top. Alright, so the teleport's next. Let's go ahead and level it up. The next item 
Well, let's catch him in an ultimate. If he wants to hang out, hey, buddy, let's hang. All right, we're going to grab him. Yep, we got him. All right, Phoenix Blades, that's the next one. That's going to help slow people down to keep, well, keep them from running for way. So his recommended build, it's not so bad so far. Uh, you've got lifesteal, and you've got movement speed and crits. All right, let's get out and go back and heal up. All right, we're back in it. Uh, I don't see anybody on the map, so I'm not sure exactly where they're at. There's one right there. There's two. And uh-oh. All right, they're making a pretty decent push. We're going to teleport in, trap them, and we're going to get out. Nobody was there to assist, so we didn't get a kill out of that. So, let's drop jungle. Try to get some health back. Good thing about life still is you can jungle and heal yourself up. At this level, you're really not going to take much. Next on the list is Frost Lance. Going to give me more hit points and the ability. All right, we got too many right here. Let's get out. I don't want to go 1v2 right now. Uh, let's see how he handles a mini boss. Took him down pretty quick. See, his regular attacks do a good bit of damage, and you don't even have any physical attack items really yet. I mean, you're getting a little bit of physical attack from the Abyss Helmet, and I see you down there, Duke, trying to sneak into that tower and take it out. Hopefully, I can get down here in time to kill him. And let's get him caught up. Teleport on the other side of him, and looks like we're going to take him out. Yes, we did. And the next item coming up and just a few little pieces of gold, we're going to get the last item, which is the Soul Cutlass. That's the physical attack that we were looking for. And we're going to have to get out, grab this heal, and let's run right back in. Vorpal Blades is up. Didn't do enough damage. Whoa, we got to get out quick. We have to get out quick. And we're going to go back and heal up. All right, back in it. Those two went back as well. So we're going to stay top lane, keep it cleared, and see if we can't get a good push on this tower. I don't see anybody down in bottom lane. Well, there's Duke now showing up in bottom. But let's see if we can't get a few shots. I'm not really worried about this Owen. Well, I really didn't want to attack him. So let's get out. Ember's here. She's taking Jonic. We got Ember caught. Let's see if we can't do some decent damage to her. We did. Now see, his melee damage is so strong. It does a lot of damage for a melee character, and his outs just make it that much better because you can get in and out of fights. Now, I don't want to lock on Owen, and I don't want to die, so we're kind of pushing hard on that tower, but I'm going to go back and heal all the way up, and we're almost to the third level, or, well, 3,000 gold to be able to buy the second level and the first thing I'm gonna go for is that abyss helm because I want more life still That way I don't have to go back as many times and heal up Now let's get you out of the way. We don't have an ultimate up yet We got ulti uh, Somebody Johnny got taken out by Ember. No, he got taken out by the uh, Paladin which is kind of sad Owen I've not really played him a whole lot, but I have seen people. Where are you going, buddy? Nowhere. Got him called up. Looks like they have taken a wow, that bottom tower, and there are minions pushing on my tower down here, so I'm going to run down here. Take out all these minions. They said I can't hear the sound, because I, so I can't hear. They had took that tower out as well. So while they're distracted up top, I've only got one minion right there, so should have some more there they come right there let's keep walking uh, hopefully they can catch up once we stall a little bit and kill these towers but I only need just maybe one at this level yeah one should do it I should be doing enough damage right now I'm level 13 now that way it can tank and I can go in there and do as much damage as possible to this tower we got another wave coming right after that but look how much damage I'm doing to this tower all right, it's not doing a whole lot to me. I'll just be able to stand in it, take the damage, and bam, we got a tower now. Hit the minions, heal back up some since we do have tier two of the Abyss Helm. And looks like we're going to get super minions. Nobody's come back to contest. Are they just going to leave it open? Wow. All right, we're on the Nexus. Nobody's contesting me yet. I've got everything up, teleports and all. 
Let's drop back out of that because this shoots really fast and it's going to do a good bit of damage. So now we have that. I could actually probably go up here and finish the game off right now. We do have Duke coming in. Did we catch him in it? I don't really know if I caught him in it, but that life steal is helping out a lot. And teleport, I love you. That's one of the biggest things for this guy is being able to get in on somebody and take them out. Now Duke should be right back. And instead of leveling anything else up, I'm just gonna go with the more life steal right there. Now I could have went with the extra damage from either the physical attack, the soul cutlass or the extra crit. But playing right now, the life steal is what is going to be the huge lifesaver here because I'm gonna be able to stay in longer, do more damage, and we're gonna get him caught up and just look how much we're healing for. All right, now let's go ahead and grab the second tier of the uh, spindle cutter, which goes up to two times critical hit. We need some minions to take this tower out before anybody gets back. And it looks like Duke's back before we did get to do that. So let's see how much damage we're doing with that now. It's still only taking about half of them, but the extra splash damage that you get after that helps out a lot. Now we're getting bursted on right there. Tower got taken down. Thank you, Johnny. We don't have an ulti up just yet, but I'm going to push it. I'm going to push the limits of this character to see what he can do. Owen, are you going to try to run from me? You are. Got him too. Nice. See that damage it did, the splash damage it was able to do after using Vorpal Blades. It helps out a lot with these minions. Because basically, you're going to kill at least three of them with one hit. And we've got a good push going up top. Tusker full health. I'm pretty much pretty close to that. And let's take out this tower. He got ulti. Wow. All right, it's time to get out. And let's go ahead and grab some more attack speed. We're going to level up the Soul Cutlass. Not attack speed, I'm sorry. Attack damage. It's going to go from 45, uh, 45 to 125 attack damage. And, oh, let's get out. And do we need to jump back again? No, we don't because all three of them are right there. Now, this little hill is not going to do much for me at all. And I don't know if we really need to go back in and push this, but it looks like they're retreating, so we're going to go for the tower. Well, Tusker decided he wanted to turn around. They actually did as well. We have a speed buff here. And let's set him up and go. All right. Owen, you are done for. 3v1. Nice. Here we go. We are 11 and 0. We have not died, not once, on this guy. We came pretty close several times. Uh, next, let's go with Fire Blades. That's more of a chance for them to be reduced on movement speed. And this guy just does a lot of damage. He's got a good out. And on top of that, he's really hard to catch. Ooh, let's get out. That was really close. That was really, really close. All right, let's go back. And I didn't even get a chance to make it back to the tower before they killed it off. We had super minions on top and bottom. Guys, that's Wei. Wei's really strong as far as your physical game. He's got really good survivability. I didn't even go into any defense. Like I said, that was recommended. The life still helps out a good bit. I would might go a little bit of attack speed on him as well, maybe with a Chaos Claw. Uh, Guardian's Gloves, that's a lot of attack speed, but that's all it offers is attack speed. Other than that, we will do a custom build on him, of course. That's coming sometime in the next week or so. If you have any questions about Wei, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.